Welcome back everybody. Uh, happy spring. It is officially here at the time of posting. Also at the time of posting a lot of us are stuck at home so there is no better time than now to start our spring cleaning. Uh, so today we are starting with the kitchen. And a few things that I start with, as you can see here, is I will move everything off the floor and I actually take a vacuum over our hardwood first to pick up any of the big stuff. You could also sweep if you don't have a good hardwood vacuum. Then I follow by swiffering to pick up the dust that the vacuum doesn't pick up. And finally, I will mop just to kind of get everything off the floor uh, so I don't have to worry about it. Uh, then I'll move on to the fridge. You can see we clean the outside wipe it all down and we actually have a separate video on how to clean your refrigerator if you want to look at that so I won't go into details now but we do pull that out from the wall just to make sure we can get the floor behind there as well um, and after we do the fridge we'll move on to the stove and kind of do the same idea where we pull the stove out wipe down the sides clean the top clean the inside and again we have a separate video on how to clean your stove if you're not sure this is just a pointer of things to remember to clean when you're doing spring cleaning for your kitchen. Um, for us, you can see our microwave is above the stove. Uh, so we actually will clean out all of the air vents um, underneath so that that continues to run smoothly and doesn't shoot as much grease into the air. We also wipe down the outside. And then for the inside, I microwave a little bit of vinegar to help get that everything unstuck and there's a separate video on that as well. Um, after the microwave I go on to all of the cabinets and drawers and we will empty everything out of the cabinets um, so that we can sort through and get rid of any of the expired food or spices or just things that we're not going to use different utensils or appliance style things um, and we can go ahead and donate those and declutter a little bit. It also gives us the opportunity to reorganize so if you want to move something to a new spot just try it out for a year. Spring cleaning is a great time to try that. Uh, while all your cabinets and cupboards are empty I would recommend vacuuming them out or dusting or um, wiping them out or a combination of all three. Uh, it's surprising how much dust will build up in there. And then don't forget to wipe down the handles on the outside and actually dust uh, like the top of the drawers and the actual doors. If they have ledges, sometimes dust will build up on there, as well as wiping down the tops of your cabinets. So if you have an open top in your kitchen, there's a lot of dust that builds up in there. Um, once we are done with the cabinets, we move on to things like our coffee maker. We have a Keurig and an espresso machine, so we actually take those, all of the removal pieces, and wash those, and then descale. And you can see that in our How to Descale Your Espresso and Coffee Maker video. All these videos are linked in the description below. Uh, but we do that, and you can also use this time to do any other kind of miscellaneous appliances you have on your countertop, say a coffee grinder or a can opener, like an electric can opener or anything like that just to wipe them down and get it clean. Um, and once you do that and you kind of clean up your counter, I actually take everything off the counter and wipe it down just to disinfect everything, um, just to get kind of a fresh start. And I would also scrub your sink at this time with soap and water, including the faucet, um, as well as disinfecting the handle of everything, um, just because we might forget to do that throughout the year. Um, finally, as far as big appliances, we move on to the dishwasher and you can see how to do that in our how to wash your dishwasher. And this can be quite important because there can be food particle buildup or just general gunk that you want to wash away. And we've actually found that if you don't do this, your dishwasher can start to smell a little bit, but you don't realize it's your dishwasher. You might think it's just the garbage or the garbage disposal, but your dishwasher can build up a smell. Um, so it's important to do that. Again, we have the steps to do that if you're not sure in a separate video. Um, finally, we've covered the appliances, we've covered the counters, cabinets, floors. Um, lastly, I like to do the walls. So I would go ahead and remove all of the wall hangs from the wall and then I will wipe down the walls using a vinegar and water mixture. This is three parts water to one part vinegar or you could look at it as three cups of water to one cup vinegar 
make as much as you need. Um, but I'll actually go ahead and wipe down all of the walls because there's a lot of dust and mildew and it's just a great spot for like mold buildup um, that you might not notice and just it's a catch-all for allergens. I have really bad allergies um, so it's really important to do that. I actually just did a picture um, which you can see here of this is what the walls looked like of one of our other rooms um, after going four months without washing. Um, so it can really build up on the walls and it's important to wash. Uh, once your walls are dry, you can go ahead and rehang all of your pictures. And one small spot that people often forget is the trim. So if you have trim, I would just go ahead and run a rag along the top of that because that's also a dust catch area. Um, hopefully this helped you get started on cleaning your kitchen. Uh, join us in a few days as we release another room of the house that we are spring cleaning. And let me know what your tips and tricks are for your spring cleaning of your kitchen. If you liked this, don't forget to leave us a thumbs up and subscribe. Uh, we'd love to have you back. And we also have some handy guides on the blog uh, that you can either print out or just have up to remind you of the steps to go through as you're cleaning your kitchen. Thank you again. Have a great day.